Hey guys, this is Ashish for TechnoSpot.net and today I'm going to do a demo of an app called as My Purchases, uh, which is right here. So this app basically lets you find your you know recent purchases. Now, if you have been using Android for some time, the Play Store now doesn't actually let you see what kind of apps you have recently installed and all those stuff. Even if I go to apps, you know there's nothing here which says you know where are my apps and all those stuff these are all top page app top free apps top browsing apps um, there's no you know settings here or even here it doesn't say you know i can change and i can just take a look at you know the apps installed which i have recently bought so so play store doesn't have that kind of settings uh, and many people miss it so this is the app which I recently saw. It's called as My Purchases, which connects with one of your accounts. So when you install it, it'll ask for permissions and all those stuff. And it's a free app. It's a little advertisement going on down here that you can see. And it connects with your uh, Google account web service, and then you know brings in all the apps which has been recently bought. So you can see these ads have already been bought and you can find out the recently bought apps and how much they costed and all you can see the pricing is also available and the date is available now there's something very cool is uh, you can go to your uh, settings of this app and what you can do is you can choose to remove apps which is already installed so if i select this and i go back and i will just do a refresh so the app which has already been installed on my Nexus or any of your Android phones will not be visible anymore. So you will get to see only which you have bought but you have not installed on this device. This helps because if you have multiple devices, uh, now you can see here, these are devices which, which are the apps which I have bought but you know, these are not installed on my device. This is really cool and I think you should have it. And you can go for a pro version if you want to remove the ads and all. Uh, let me see if you can and now here you go so you can launch it on your play store and you can just buy it as you want so we we'll just press back here and you can just remove ads so if you remove want to remove ads you can go and buy this my purchases pro there's no limitation between the free and the other there's a bit of features here and there so if i just expand it the pro version doesn't have uh, any ads and all those stuff now there's one little bit of problem here which uh, let me show you um, like you saw okay we need to go back okay like you saw it's only showing me a limited amount which is basically uh, seems to be restricted by the api or probably google services so but you can always expand it probably let me see if i go there i go for settings and what i'll do is uh, I will just hide install and we'll remove all this stuff and we'll just go back and I will refresh this and we'll see more and more of uh, apps getting listed here. So this is the my purchases app you can find on play store buy a pro version if you don't like ads otherwise the free version this works fine. Uh, it does not uh, store any of your data it just you know connects with uh, the web service when you launch it and then displays the list of apps which actually you have bought and i think this is a cool app to have if you want to find out uh, my purchase the purchased app on the device you can always go and view it on the uh, web front the web store web play store you can always go there look for my account and it displays all the apps there but if you want it on your device this is the app you should be looking for thanks for watching